Now, for many parents, including myself, diet change was a, viewed, at least initially, as a scary, overwhelming task rather than a path to health for many reasons. It's initially difficult to do. It can be especially difficult for children with ASD who limit their diets. Most of the children and often the parents I see are strongly addicted to complex carbohydrates. And society values junk food as part of a normal childhood diet. So dietary interventions have to start by changing the view. Children in this country are growing up on a nutrient-depleted diet loaded with synthetic chemicals and dyes and sugars and stimulants and all sorts of non-foods. Brains need nourishment like any other organ, and if a child's brain, digestive, and immune systems have been hurt because of an exposure to mercury or other toxins, the first step in promoting recovery and optimal health should be to provide the best nourishment possible. So what about the gluten and casein-free diet? Gluten is a protein contained in the grains wheat, barley, rye, and oats, and casein is a protein of milk. So the gluten-free and casein-free diet eliminates the intake of these naturally occurring proteins. Now, there's a considerable amount of research in this area and plenty of reports of children doing well when they remove gluten and casein from their child's diet. As a result of injury and inflammation, the second stage of digestion is not working correctly. And as a result, casomorphins from dairy and gluteomorphins from gluten do not get digested properly. So they get absorbed into the bloodstream, causing all sorts of problems with the immune system and brain function. So the theory behind this diet is sound. The problem lies in the application. 